Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am playing around with this Morphe uh, brow pencil in the shade Java. So if you'd like to see my thoughts on this brow pencil, brow product, please keep watching. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and stay a while. Hey guys, today we're going to sit around and play with this Morphe brow pencil. The color that I picked up was Java. She, They just come out with this product and I ran across a couple that was saying that this was comparable to Benefit Brow Wiz. We'll see. I'm just going to brush all my hairs up. Get them ready for product. She's got, a, she's got a good spoolie on it, I'll tell you that much. It's not so hard that it feels like it's going to pull your hair off. You guys know that I always use, this is what I, this is my go-to. This is the ColourPop um, Black and Brown. This is my Holy Grail. And I've got a couple others that I do use. I've got the MAC. I've got the Kat Von D. Just to name a couple. I probably got a few more down in there. But that ColourPop is the one that I reach for all the time. So we're going to just try this Morphe one out. Now, I don't do my brows like most. So if you say, oh, what is she doing? Just bear with me. I'm just going to start creating that line up underneath. Drag it down towards my tail. I should have picked up the pomade, but I'm really and truly, all honestly, I, like I'll use a pomade, but my go-to is just throw some pencil on. Because I do have brows, I just mostly fill in. Now when I do those Insta brows, Instagram brows, that's when I'll use my pomades. Okay, I'm just going to start filling in. It's soft. It don't feel um, overly waxy. That's why I like the ColourPop one. It's not real wet, but then again, it's not so waxy that it just comes off. It's good. She's got a. It's got a perfect amount. I'll tell you that much. This little spoolie blends out product good. I'm using just the lightest hand on this too. Mind you, this pencil was five bucks, I think I paid for it, which is the same price as the ColourPop, I think. So that's not too bad. This pencil is um, small enough you can create a good little tail on the ends. Alright guys, I'm going to finish my makeup off camera. And I'm going to come back and let you know what I think about this product. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I, what I would say about this is if you don't own a brow product and you're looking for something that's not really waxy, I would say this is beginner friendly to be honest. It's not so waxy that it will slip and slide and you're trying to figure out where your brow is. If you'll see, I didn't even do any cleanup on my brow. That's how good this, I, I really like this. For five bucks, you can't beat it. Will it replace my ColourPop? That's a good question. And we'll see in the upcoming videos. But this is one that, this is a top drawer, I can tell you that. I wish I had picked up the pomade now just to test it out and see what it was about, but my go-to pomades is the Cabral by Benefit and the Kat Von D 
this stuff compared to this stuff is two different worlds. If you guys want to see a video on that, let me know. But these are bombs, both of them. I go to both of them. But like I said, they're two different worlds. If I was to say, yeah, pick it up. I think you would like this. It's not so... ColourPop actually has two pencils out. The one that I have and then another one has white caps on both ends. I don't fool with that one too much. That one to me is where one is waxy, the other one is really stiff. Like you have to really apply pressure to get that other pencil to work. This pencil is probably about center of those whereas my color pop is good I wouldn't say it's, it's full of wax but it does have a little bit of a slip to it anyways what I'm trying to say is if you get a chance to pick this up I don't think you'd be mad about it for five bucks all right that's it for me guys please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video